In a small village nestled at the foot of a misty mountain, lived a spirited young girl named Lila. Lila had a heart full of wonder and a mind full of questions. Her favorite thing in the world was exploring the meadows and forests that surrounded her home. Every day after school, she would set out with her dog, Max, on new adventures, searching for hidden treasures and secret places. One particularly rainy day, as the storm clouds began to clear, Lila saw the most vibrant rainbow she had ever seen stretching across the sky. She marveled at its colors and wondered where it ended. Come on, Max, she said excitedly, let's find the end of the rainbow. With Max bounding at her side, Lila followed the rainbow across the meadows and into the forest. They climbed over fallen logs, waded through sparkling streams, and even tiptoed past a family of deer grazing peacefully. The rainbow seemed to beckon them further and further until they reached the base of the misty mountain. There, hidden among the trees, was a glistening, crystal-clear waterfall. As Lila and Max approached, they saw something extraordinary, a shimmering bridge made entirely of rainbow light arched over the waterfall. Lila's eyes widened in amazement. It's a rainbow bridge, she exclaimed. Cautiously, Lila stepped onto the bridge, and to her surprise, it felt solid beneath her feet. She and Max crossed the bridge, and on the other side, they found themselves in a magical land filled with colors more vivid than they had ever seen. The sky was a brilliant shade of blue, the grass was the greenest green, and flowers of every hue carpeted the ground. In the center of this magical land stood a magnificent castle made of gleaming crystals. Lila and Max approached the castle, and the gates swung open to reveal a kind and gentle queen dressed in robes that shimmered like the rainbow. Welcome, Lila and Max, the queen said with a warm smile. I am Queen Iris, the guardian of the Rainbow Realm. Queen Iris explained that the Rainbow Realm was a place of beauty and harmony, created by the magic of the Rainbow Bridge. However, the bridge could only be seen by those with a pure heart and a sense of wonder. You have been chosen to help us, Queen Iris said. Our realm is losing its colors, and we need your help to restore them. Lila listened intently as Queen Iris handed her a special paintbrush and a palette filled with glowing, magical paints. Use these to bring color back to our world, the queen instructed. With Max by her side, Lila set off on her new mission. She painted the trees, making their leaves shimmer with shades of emerald and gold. She touched the flowers with her brush, and they bloomed in every color imaginable. Even the animals of the rainbow realm were touched by her magic, their fur and feathers glowing with vibrant hues. As Lila worked, the realm began to sparkle and shine once more. The colors returned brighter and more beautiful than ever. The creatures of the rainbow realm gathered to thank her, their eyes filled with gratitude and joy. When Lila and Max returned to the castle, Queen Iris was waiting for them. You have done a wonderful job, she said. The Rainbow Realm is restored, and it's all thanks to your kindness and creativity. Queen Iris led Lila and Max back to the Rainbow Bridge. You are always welcome here, Lila, she said. Whenever you see a rainbow, know that our realm is thriving because of you. As Lila and Max crossed the bridge and returned to their own world, the bridge slowly faded behind them. Lila knew that she would never forget her incredible adventure in the Rainbow Realm. From that day on, whenever Lila saw a rainbow, she smiled and remembered the magical land she had helped save. She continued to explore and create, knowing that the power of wonder and kindness could bring color and joy to the world.